Nice one. It's amazing commodities! I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye. soon. The big meet for that scholarship was yesterday. Are you seriously asking me that? I got first place, of course. Well, what'd you expect? But really, thanks. I guess this means it's really over. Running track, I mean, kind of makes me feel empty inside. thinking of finding a job, actually. Not to sound dramatic, but I want to do it to protect my family. I know where, too. My dad had connections at a car factory, so I'll apply there. Thing is, it's pretty far away. Hmm. Go ahead and order extra noodles. It's on me. Yeah, eat as much as you want. You helped me figure a bunch of things out, you know. I always blamed school or my family for everything. I was using it as an escape from my own responsibilities. I really lucked out by meeting you. If I hadn't, I'd still be stuck in that same hole, and I'll never forget that. Well, 
I better start packing. Got a lot of goodbyes to get through and not enough time. We should grab a bite again after school soon. Who knows how many chances we'll get after this. Ramen's just too good to pass up, right? This section. Do you understand? Well, the answer was pretty obvious. Okay. The other day, I let Yukari-chan try a new dish I made. She liked it so much, she ended up eating it all. So I told her it was meant to return the favor for what everyone's done for me. 
But she got really confused and asked me what favor this was about. It didn't seem like she had any idea what I was talking about, so I told her the whole story. And when I finished, she burst out laughing. She told me I didn't need to do anything like that. She said, when you're friends, you don't keep score. I've been lying this whole time. To you, and to myself. I don't think it was actually ever about repaying everyone. I am grateful, but that's not what I really wanted to say. What I really want is just to be with everyone. Forever. The truth ended up being so much simpler, and I just wanted to make that clear. I've just never had the confidence to be honest about my feelings. So I wanted to say I'm sorry for dragging you into this lie. And I know I don't really have the right to ask this, but I hope you and I can continue to be friends. <laughs> I guess it goes without saying at this point, but thank you anyway. I think I'm going to try and be more accepting of who I am. And I'm not going to tell myself I'm worthless anymore. Because I have such wonderful friends all around me now. Would you maybe like to try cooking together sometime? I never asked, because I assumed I'd be wasting your time. But I've always wanted to try cooking with a friend. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I can't wait. And if we do a good job, it'd be nice if we could share what we made with everyone else. Ryoji-kun was just leaving. Oh, hey there. Chilly out, huh? Hope you don't go catching a cold. You know, I stop by here pretty often. Weird we never see each other. Well, I'm out of here. See you later. Later, Ryoji. Was that Ryoji-san? Yeah, he said he was going home. Why was he here? To see Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school trip. But the rules state that visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Grijo Senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Dangerous? Ryoji-kun? Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru-senpai the first time he met her. But having him around has really helped cheer you up, Junpei-kun. Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? Won't change a damn thing. That's true. Hmm? What's up, ai -chan? I'm fine. It's just... I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine. So I don't understand what it feels like to live. Really? But you don't seem that different. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational as opposed to alive. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Well, if we were all like you, then we never have to worry about dying. Oh, crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, no use whining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess he'll finally froze over. Well, better call it a night then. The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader. The thought of something happening to you, it makes me... Uh, 
Understood. You are very special to me. I can't explain why, but I never want to leave your side. I want to protect you at all costs, to be there for you always. Uh, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. It's me. Sorry for calling so late. Now then, about the new arrival from the other day. I'd like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. If we find any distinctive features, we may be able to locate her family. Also, I can't help but think that the Kirijo group is connected to Strega in some way. Considering this, I think it would be disrespectful to sleep her death under the rug. And of course, I'll take full responsibility what? What did you just say? <laughs> Transmogrified. The body? <sighs> but judging by the post-mortem, we were certain she was... <sighs> All right. I'm sorry, but please keep this strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. Right then. What is going on? <sighs> I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens for now. 